Note, where is by jurisdiction note, where is by jurisdiction human sacrifice is the act of killing one or more humans as part of a ritual, which is usually intended to please or appease gods, a human ruler, an authoritative priestly figure or spirits of dead ancestors, as a retainer sacrifice when a king's servants are killed in order for them to continue to serve their master in the next life. Closely related practices found in some tribal societies are cannibalism and headhunting. Human sacrifice was practiced in many human societies beginning in prehistoric times. By the Iron Age, with the associated developments in religion, human sacrifice was becoming less common throughout Africa, Europe, and Asia, and came to be looked down upon as barbaric during classical antiquity. In the Americas, however, human sacrifice continued to be practiced, by some, to varying degrees until the European colonization of the Americas. Today, human sacrifice has become extremely rare. Modern secular laws treat human sacrifices in the same manner as murder. Most major religions in the modern day condemn the practice. The law of Moses explicitly commands that you shall not murder. Concerning human sacrifice, the prophet Jeremiah reported that Yahweh said it is something I did not command, nor did it enter my mind. In the account of Abraham's near sacrifice of his son Isaac, where God tested Abraham by asking him if he were faithful enough to obey God in sacrificing his own son, God then prevents the sacrifice from happening and tells Abraham to sacrifice a ram instead. Human sacrifice has been practiced on a number of different occasions and in many different cultures. The various rationales behind human sacrifice are the same that motivate religious sacrifice in general. Human sacrifice is typically intended to bring good fortune and to pacify the gods. For example in the context of the dedication of a completed building like a temple or bridge. Fertility was another common theme in ancient religious sacrifices, such as sacrifices to the Aztec god of agriculture Zaip Totek. In ancient Japan, legends talk about Hitobashira, in which maidens were buried alive at the base of or near some constructions to protect the buildings against disasters or enemy attacks. And almost identical accounts appear in the Balkans. For the re-consecration of the Great Pyramid of Tenochtitlan in 1487, the Aztecs reported that they killed about 80,400 prisoners over the course of four days. According to Ross Hasig, author of Aztec Warfare, between 10,000 and 80,400 persons were sacrificed in the ceremony. Human sacrifice can also have the intention of winning the gods' favor in warfare. In Homeric legend, Iphigenia was to be sacrificed by her father Agamemnon to appease Artemis so she would allow the Greeks to wage the Trojan War. In some notions of an afterlife, the deceased will benefit from victims killed at his funeral. Mongols, Scythians, early Egyptians and various Mesoamerican chiefs could take most of their household including servants and concubines, with them to the next world. This is sometimes called a retainer sacrifice, as the leader's retainers would be sacrificed along with their master, so that they could continue to serve him in the afterlife. Another purpose is divination from the body parts of the victim. According to Strabo, Seltz stabbed a victim with a sword and divined the future from his death spasms. Headhunting is the practice of taking the head of a killed adversary for ceremonial or magical purposes, or for reasons of prestige. It was found in many pre-modern tribal societies. Human sacrifice may be a ritual practiced in a stable society, and may even be conducive to enhance societal unity, both by creating a bond unifying the sacrificing community, and in combining human sacrifice and capital punishment, by removing individuals that have a negative effect on societal stability. However, outside of civil religion, Human sacrifice may also result in outbursts of blood frenzy and mass killings that destabilize society. Many cultures show traces of prehistoric human sacrifice in their mythologies and religious texts, but ceased the practice before the onset of historical records. Some see the story of Abraham and Isaac as an example of an etiological myth, explaining the abolition of human sacrifice. The Vedic Purushamedha is already a purely symbolic act in its earliest attestation. According to Pliny the Elder, 
Human sacrifice in ancient Rome was abolished by a senatorial decree in 97 BCE. Although by this time the practice had already become so rare that the decree was mostly a symbolic act. Human sacrifice once abolished is typically replaced by either animal sacrifice or by the mock sacrifice of effigies, such as the Agi in ancient Rome. Successful agricultural cities had already emerged in the Near East by the Neolithic. Some protected behind stone walls. Jericho is the best known of these sit.